Hi friends, welcome back to another week. We're going to have so much fun this week. Do you know what we're going to continue talking about? That's right, we're going to be talking about Earth some more this week. Why are we going to be talking about Earth this week? In a few weeks, two and a half weeks, is going to be a birthday. Can you guess whose birthday it's going to be? Yeah, it's going to be Earth birthday on April 22nd. Now, if we were in school, we would be doing some celebrations with Earth. But since we're not in school, we are going to be celebrating the same way, but you are going to be doing it at home. So, before we can talk more about Earth Day, we have to learn about it. And I know that Miss Melanie is going to be reading you a book called Earth Day. We're going to be doing poems this week. We're going to be making another delicious, yummy snack. But first, let's learn some of the words that we are going to be hearing a lot this week. But first, we're going to review some of the words that we've already learned about in the last two weeks. So you all know what this word is. It's earth. Another word that you guys are very familiar with and you should remember, and I know you remember because we spoke about a, a lot this past two weeks, is this word. This is right. This is land. And earth is made up of land. And you guessed it. Water. And here's a new word that we didn't put out yet because we were saving it for this week because this week we're going to be talking a lot about this. And we started it a little bit towards the end of last week. The word air, which we did many projects on Friday about air. And you know on earth, there's people and animals. So those are the words you are familiar with already. You ready for your new words for the week? Here they are. This is actually two words. This says Earth Day. And on Earth Day, it's a very, very special day because on Earth Day, we like to celebrate how clean our Earth can be. Now, the question is, how do you keep it clean? Well, Earth is made up of the environment. Environment. And in the environment, you have it. That's right. Our land water, and air. And it's very, very important to keep it clean. How do you keep it clean? Well, there's many ways. One way is you have trees. Do you know why trees are important? Trees are important because when the leaves are growing on the tree, all the air that's around, the trees help catch it and keeps the dirty air. So when we breathe in, we could breathe in clean air. Do you want to breathe in dirty air? Oh, I don't think that's good for your bodies. So trees help the environment by keeping the air clean. And we have plants. On an Earth Day, people like to go out and they like to make new plants. You could grow any kinds of plants which all you need is some soil and seeds, and you could grow plants. Plants also help the earth to be clean, and it helps you to be healthy. Now, what is also very important to do on Earth Day is to make sure that the world we live in is a clean place. People walk around, animals walk around, and what happens if there's garbage on the floor and an animal eats it? The animal can get sick, and do we want that to happen? No. What happens if there's garbage in the ocean or the lake and there's fishy swimming by and they eat a piece of garbage? They could get sick, and we don't want that. 
So there's something very important that we need to do to keep our environment clean. Are you ready for a big word you're gonna hear a lot about this week? This word is called recycle. What does recycle mean? Recycle means stuff that you could use over and over and over again. So there are many things that we could recycle. Plastic bottles, you could recycle. You could recycle metal. Or maybe old toys and use them and change them into something else. Recycling means is that you have something and you use it to make something else. Like my cup here. I have a cup here. Do you know what I could use this cup for? I could drink from it. Or if I want, I could use it as a pen holder and I could put my pens inside it and I could have a nice pen holder. So instead of throwing this away in the garbage when I'm done with it, I could clean it out and I could use it as something else. That's where we get this word from, reuse. You see down here, the container? One time this container could have had water in it or it could have had something else in it. But in this picture, it has brushes in it and it has other things in it. So instead of throwing it away and making more garbage in the garbage dump, you could use it again to make something else. So this word is called reuse. And another word we're gonna hear about is called this one, reduce which means you should use a little bit of something. Like the water, when you have water on and you're done washing your hands, should you walk away and leave the water on or should you shut it off? That's right, you should shut it off. And if you need it again in a few seconds, you should go back and turn it back on. With the lights, if you are using the lights to read a book and you're done reading the book and you want to go into another room to get a toy. Do you know that you could shut the light off to save the energy? And then when you go back into your room, you could turn the light on. So that's how we could protect the environment. By recycling, you could reuse things and you could reduce. So that's what we're going to be learning about this week. Reuse, reduce, recycle. Reuse, reduce, recycle. And we're going to learn about recycling and how to do it. So are you ready for a week of fun celebrating Earth's birthday? Good. I am too. So we're going to have lots of fun this week. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. And make out your cards like I've been seeing you making at home in the pictures you send me and practice all your vocabulary words. So we will see you later on in the next video for some more fun about recycling. Bye.